Welcome back, everybody. We have a special treat for you today. We have a guest speaker in. Hello. Albert is going to be going through uh, a short Pi Game tutorial, how to display an image on Pi Game. He's going to explain uh, what Pi Game is, how it works, and what each line of this code is doing. So, Albert, would you like to start explaining? To start right. off by explaining what it is. Uh, so, Pi Game is a module that you can use to draw stuff to a client area on your computer. So for for a start, just import the Pi Game module, uh, which we will use to draw our image. Next part we should we should do probably first is to initialize Pi Game. So code for that is Pi Game dot init, short for initialize. This gets everything ready for us and makes sure that when we you know start the game, everything's set up. Uh, the next part would be to probably. Uh, uh, yeah, load our image. So I'll call my image img uh, pi game dot image dot load, and then the name of the file should go here. Whatever the name of your file is, I don't know what the name of your file is, but yeah, you know. Mm. What's the name of the file? We're gonna load this file here, this genius file. Genius, so okay. if you type that in, and you have to make sure as well that wherever you save this, it's saved in the same location as mm. that image. You can put the full directory though, mm -hmm. uh, like you know slashes and etc. And all the rest of it. Now, can we just explain just before we go on here? Mm. This line here, you are loading the image and you are putting it into this variable here. Is that mm. correct? I'm assigning it to a variable, yeah, so that I can reuse it in case I need to draw it twice or something. Cool. We so we can call this variable whenever we need to, and it will just call up that image there, as opposed to loading the image every time we need it. Yep, that's perfect. Sounds good. Okay, right. carry on. Now, this is to do with client area here, because this is where we're making our window. So it should be uh, display equals, this is this is the name of our window, and I'm going to call it, uh, it, I can't remember the name of the function, it's, oh no, I got it, I got it, pygame.display.set underscore mode, wow, I can't really remember that. Set mode, uh, and it takes one point, and I'll make it, what's it, 400 by 400? Yep. Yeah, 400 by 400. Uh, now, so what I've just done here is I've made our window, and I've assigned it to a variable called display, so that I can blip my image to my display. But the this 400 by 400 here, these are this is the amount of pixels in length that our thing's going to be, at our window. So it's going to be 400 pixels along by 400 pixels wide. So it's going to be a nice little square, I think. Something like that, yeah. So 400 across, 400 down. Yeah. All right, uh, so to draw, we're just going to type my uh, display, which is the name of my thing, and then dot, which is uh, like calling a, I can't remember, member function of, uh, pi, of our display, which is a Pi game thing. So display dot... Blit, I think, yeah, blit, built, <laughs> blit, and then it's, what was it called, img, and then the position, I just draw it at 0, comma 0, and that draws our image, right there. So this bit here, this last point here that we're just looking mm -hmm. at, we are taking the variable which we've assigned up here, mm -hmm. and we're saying this variable should be displayed, looking at the 400 by this 400 part here, and mm -hmm. we're going to display this at 0, 0, the coordinate yeah. 0, 0. So coordinate that should zero, be zero. the center of the screen, the yes? Of the screen. Oh, okay. no, no, not the center, no? the, the, the very top left corner. The very top left corner, my mistake. So 0, wanna, 0 will be top left. You might want to just real quick put those as square brackets as well, just because for frozen sets and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. So are we ready to yeah, load ready. this guy now? Okay. Alright, so... F5. Just to save it. <laughs> Genius.ping. Okay, it may be because where we've saved it and you didn't oh, look yeah. where we, we were saving it. We didn't look it. where we saved it. Yeah. You didn't look where we were saving it. Oh, yeah, it's saved it into my that. documents. So save that onto desktop and we will call that... I'm actually going to give it a proper name because you should always... Hi game. Uh, yeah, don't don't call it Pi Game because that 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 can make a big problem actually. Call it Pi Game one or something because then when you type call it, it Pi game, game test. Pi Game test, yeah. Yep. Okay. So we save this guy. Yep. Save it. No. Right. So it is loaded our window. Okay. It is loading something. Uh, actually, it's stuck in an input loop, and that was my fault because I didn't update the display. This here, this line of code updates the screen so what happens is it's like 
you're drawing the you're drawing your screen and then you actually need to apply what you've done on your screen to your client area. If you don't do that, it will just not show up. Just why? Yeah. There we go. So there we go. There's our there's our image. So let's just talk through that last piece there. So again, we can't close this yet because we haven't got the input loop to close it. So in order to close the image, we have to actually close the shell to actually yeah. work it. So let's just run through this first of all. So imported Pygame, which is the module, module that we need to actually run it. We have to initialize Pygame to actually be able to use any of the functions of it. This line of code takes our genius image, which is saved on the desktop, and mm -hmm. saves that into the IMG variable that we've got here. This line of code uh, is a display variable where we set the actual window size, and we say it's going to be 400 by 400, 400. in this case. Yep. yep. And then that information is saved in display. This part here, we take the image and we put the image at coordinate 00, zero yep. which as you said is the top left corner, top not left the corner. middle like I incorrectly said. And the final part here which you just need to remember will apply the image to the display because yep. it will refresh it and then it will apply to the image whatever we've done here. So there's a lot of uh, pie game sort of a bits here for you to learn and just sort of very specific things to pie game but if you're starting off on pie game you're starting off on uh, drawing images and sort of displaying images this is the first thing we need to actually start looking at and uh, this is the first thing that uh, you should start looking at as well so hopefully that has been a useful tutorial for you we will have more pie game stuff for you in the future we're getting a little bit more complicated Albert's got some very interesting cool stuff, stuff to show yeah. us cool stuff. and uh, let us know if you would like to see anything else and we hope you found that interesting Thanks a lot.